Hi fellow reefers, this is Eddie of Eddie's Reef Aquarium. In today's video, I bring to you the comparison between the Seacam Reef Plus versus the Aquavitro Fuel. I went ahead and I did some analysis. I, I uh, printed out copies of each one of these, uh, their uh, minerals, their vitamins, uh, <coughs> excuse me, uh, everything that pertain to each product. <clears throat> and what I found out was this. I found out that on uh, uh, when I was doing the comparisons, there was some vitamins or minerals that either were not contained on aquavitro fuel, or if they were contained, uh, there was either a less amount or a higher amount of that specific mineral vitamin. I found uh, that out. Another uh, another thing that I found out when it comes to fuel is that it contains something called chlorella, which is actually a uh, green algae. That uh, product, that component is not found in the Reef Plus. So when I did the comparisons, I came up with this conclusion. The conclusion being that uh, when you see these variants, of either uh, the, the same minerals or vitamins, elements or components uh, on fuel, and you see that either they're missing, like I said before, or there's less or more amount of that specific vitamin or mineral or element or compound, it allowed me to believe that aquavitro uh, fuel is like a tweeted version of Reef Plus. So it's a higher end product. It's um, more uh, active when it comes to the aquariums. Be honest with you, I've been using uh, Reef Plus for quite a while. The bottle here is almost empty. This one I just started fuel about three weeks ago and I am noticing the difference in growth. Uh, the growth pattern is phenomenal. Uh, matter of fact, I owe all of you uh, update on this tank the June and July and there when I do the update I'll uh, talk about the increase in growth of specific targeted uh, corals that I'm noticing as we speak. Uh, one other observation that I made is when it comes to the the dosing the instructions. Uh, both of them say you know that you you should uh, apply them twice a week, shake the uh, bottles vigorously first and apply the uh, allowable dosage and then if you want to you can go ahead and refrigerate the uh, bottles once you've opened them it's not necessary but it will help the longevity of the product now something caught my attention and if you go ahead and see this you also scratch your head why on this uh, five ounce bottle of fuel the instructions are uh, to put 5 ml, which is the actual cap, per 20 gallons. Now, on the 11.8 ounce fuel, it doesn't say 5, it says 7 ml, which is the cap size, per 30 gallons. So I said, well, wait a minute. How come? Easily. The cap. This cap, being a smaller bottle, uh, the diameter of the cup is much smaller. So that being the uh, case, of course, this is not, uh, this cap doesn't have the capacity to hold seven mLs. So in lieu of that, they said, well, then five mLs would be equivalent to 20 gallons versus the 11.8. Now, what I did is, I went ahead and I did some uh, basic math and I came up with a formula. Uh, in this, instructions of 5 ml per 20 gallons, it comes out of 0.25 ml per gallon. And then on the 11.8 um, other bottle, the bigger bottle, it comes out to uh, 20, uh, 0.23 ml per gallon. Now, the two ml difference really, it's nil to actually zero. It won't do any effect or nothing of any change. One final note that I would make also is when it comes to applying any of these liquids, 
any of these supplements. It doesn't have to be these, but in general, it's a general rule of thumb. When you buy an aquarium, like this one, this is a nine gallon. Uh, I'm in the process of hopefully eventually set up the Nuvo 40 uh, right behind uh, the uh, camera here, uh, the Innovative Marine Nuvo 40. Now, yeah, it says 40 and here it says nine. Now, those measurements, when you acquire an aquarium, is dry, it's the, the empty uh, container. What you should uh, take into account is that when you apply any of these liquids, don't go by, by that, go by what you've added in mass. Now in mass I mean like corals, fish, sand, live rock, that will uh, take uh, over the mass uh, in reference to the empty volume uh, when you got the aquarium. So like in my case, this is a nine gallon tank, empty. But when you add corals and, and fish and sand and, and live uh, rocks, I mean, you don't have to go into physics and do uh, solid measurements and liquid measurements. You don't have to get that technical. But more or less a ballpark figure. Uh, like for instance, in this one I say, well, it's a nine gallon, eh, I probably have maybe in water because of the corals taking over the mass, uh, the live rocks and sand and fish and all that. I really, really in water volume, what I might have here maybe is seven gallons or seven and a half. So that's the formula, that's the magic number that you use to apply these liquids. So um, you, in my case, I, I would say, well, since uh, I'm using this bottle, uh, so this would be point. Uh, 25 mLs per gallon. So that times seven gallons or seven and a half, whatever I get, which is close to 2.0 mLs, that's what I would apply to the uh, to the tank. Not nine gallons, uh, you know, uh, 0.25 times nine. No, no, would you, uh, the measurement that you have to take, again, very important, is, is not actually the empty uh, gallon of, of the tank, not the nine gallon actually you subtract more or less more or less you you eyeball it and say well maybe i have like seven gallons in this case seven gallons or or six and a half or seven and a half gallons and that's what you use to apply any of these liquids so that being said uh one final note on the back it says that uh, acrovitral products are not available online well i went ahead and i went into all the online stores that I buy a lot of my uh, even the, the this tank that I bought the stand the Nuvo 40 the stand all the equipment that I've been getting that you guys have seen the videos uh, that I'm purchasing as I go along with discounts and all that I, I went through all the online stores and yes that's totally right except one Amazon and Amazon you can get the 11.8 uh, uh, aquavitrol fuel and all the other lines of uh, aquavitro but yet mysteriously enough on all the online stores that i checked no uh, in reference to what it says on the label they are correct you cannot purchase none of the aquavitro products through online stores they all don't have it they some some kind of uh rule or regulation they came out with ccam yes but aquavitro which is under the umbrella of uh ccam you cannot purchase again only at Amazon. So that basically is what I wanted to bring up today, the comparisons, my observations, what I have noticed when it comes using the Reef Plus by Seachem and the Seachem Aquavitro line of products fuel. Uh, so if you like this video, uh, don't hesitate to hit the like button, make a comment or share it with other of uh, your fellow YouTubers and Reef Aquarius. And if so, you can subscribe to my channel. If you do, you'll notice uh, that next to the subscription, there's a little bell. If you hit that bell, it'll activate a notification. Uh, so what will happen is that every time I put a video, you'll be the first one to get a notification that Eddie's Reef Aquaria has put uh, another video. Uh, so that's basically it. And like I always say at the end of all these videos, happy reefing. Thank you very much for watching this video. Bye-bye.